Good morning, angels. It's Warwick here from RetroQ TV. And guess what? We are going to be doing reviews, recaps, and reactions to Charlie's Angels season one. I'm super excited, so sit tight. All right, now look, I've had this channel for a long, long, long time, like 10, 12, 15 years. I've done absolutely nothing with it. But look, I've got time on my hands now, and I thought, why not dig deep into the archives of television history and re-watch some of my personal favorites, starting with Charlie's Angels. I am also going to do recaps, reviews and reactions to The Barney Woman and A Wonder Woman all seasons if this goes well. So let's see how we do. But look, let's show these episodes some love. I would love to, you know, watch them with you, see what you think about some of these episodes, your personal thoughts, your reviews, your, um, you know, memories about Charlie's Angels because it's a very near and dear to my heart show. Now listen, spoiler alert, I am going to be revealing some of the plot and some of the twists and some of the things that go on in these episodes. If you haven't watched them, well go back and watch them and then come back and see me, okay? All right, let's get into it without further ado. Hell ride. Okay, here we go. They're at the racetrack. Classic Angels opener where you see the plot, you see the crime happen and then cut to the victim or the victim's family uh, going to see the angels to see if they can sort it all out. She's familiar with that actress. Do you know what she's been in? I'm going to have to like IMDB this or something because she looks familiar. Was she... I'm going to say she was um, in King of Queens. Doug's mum. I could be wrong. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right when I check it out. Okay, here she goes. Gonna ram her, I bet. Ram. Ah. I knew it. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh, she got a little smile on her face too. That's wicked. Here we go. Exterior, Charles Townsend Agency. Iconic. Oh. Okay, you don't see... um. You can see Kate Jackson wearing, you know, bare shoulders at first. Like, you know, very often. I won't be thrilled if I have to do any real racing. I only have to look the part, right? Oh, okay. So Sabrina's going to take the gig as the race car driver, but Jill is the one that left to become a race car driver in Le Mans. Spoiler, that's like, you know, next season, but... Lower lumbago. Very stiff. Well, that's too bad, Charlie. Just how did you hurt your back? The crushing weight of responsibility, Angel. But I think it'll just be a matter of some deaf manipulation before I'll be standing as erect as ever. <laughs> Good luck, Angel. That is so rude. Oh, I'm stiff. It'll just be a matter of some manipulation till I get erect as ever. Ooh, 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 that's naughty. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's almost the same color as her um, regular car, isn't it? Oh, here she goes. She can do anything. I love Sabrina. You look like a driver. Let's go see if we can convince the locals. Okay, so this often happens in the Angels too. They've got their man on the inside that knows what's going on, but nobody else does. Well, here she is. She got a little accent. Did some driving That's in New Mexico. Tonight. Nowhere. Sunday drivers. Uh-huh. Well, this Dust Bowl ain't exactly Indianapolis. Well, yeah, this Dust Bowl ain't exactly Indianapolis. <laughs> She loves, I mean, look, she got to do what she got to do. I mean, this isn't exactly Shakespeare, so if she can, um, I tell you what, if Kate, Kate Jackson can throw anything that's going to like some acting, she going to do it. Hey, y'all, bye now, bye. She sounds like um, Leslie Jordan. Oh, okay, this is one of my favourite scenes. The chemistry between these actors, you know what I mean? Like... So early on too, I mean, this is just after the pilot, but they really do have that chemistry, and especially like Bosley, he seems to bring them all together. They obviously loved him to bits. It just shows when you see them in engaging on camera. She looks hot. Something for the Lord. And what denomination are you, little lady? 35, 24, 35. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no wonder they call it Jiggle TV. I mean, would you even get away with that now? Probably not. A little wild at times, but we were very proud of her. 
I'm oh. sure. You know, I had kind of a wild childhood myself. I wish I'd had parents who cared as much as you. Kelly had a wild childhood. Uh, how long did you know Suzanne, Miss Garrett? I mostly knew friends of hers, Mrs. Lansing. I mean, this happens a lot in this, these mechanic. episodes where they pretend to be a friend of, you know, the victim and to get, uh, you know, parents and family to open up. But that's interesting because she said she had a rough childhood and it is very rare in an Angels episode that you'll get a little backstory. Shame they didn't develop these characters in a, um, more in depth, but that's a little clue there. I wonder how many more little clues to Kelly's history we'll get throughout the uh, throughout the episodes. Look, Jerry, let us handle it our way. That's what you hired us for. He hired the angels? Where is he coming up with the money? I thought their fee was like 250000 a gig or something outrageous like that. They do do a lot of charity cases, I've got to say. You know what I mean? For a private detective agency that's got premium offices in Beverly Hills. Hi, fellas. <laughs> what are you playing? You know she is going to scoop up all that coin. You know it. Count your money, Jill. I bet you got it all. Uh huh. <laughs> Love it. I hear a girl was killed on the track this week. Yeah, Susie Lemson bought it. Nice girl. She was kind of different toward the end. Though. You don't scam us, so happy, Sort of bugged about something. Oh, like what? Who knows. Well, how'd she crash? Yeah, what's, what's, Look, the, what's the 20 questions? Play cards are butt out. Hey, Not exactly subtle. You know, I heard Bloody Mary ran Susie into the wall. Mary had nothing to do with it. Susie's wheel came off. Well, That's I know she did for a fact. I sure thought I heard somebody say you worked on her car. Raise you. Who told you that? Oh, I can't recall. I just remember hearing it from somebody. Well, you heard it wrong. Yeah. Mind your own business, Jill. Have you been checking out that Duncan chick like I told you to? I mean, what are these goons? I mean, they're not like detectives. How are they supposed to find out who's who and like do a background check? I mean, but he says that doesn't mean much. The drivers don't stay put long enough out there to change their oil. Mm -hmm. When Susie was engaged to Durko, they were involved with another man by the name of Gene Wells. Wells? That's the name of the track promoter here. I know. That's what I call one coincidence too many. Mm. Okay, let me like connect the dots. Like. Uh, Susie's parents clam up when she's supposed to be a bad girl going good and people just won't let her. There's a connection with the racetrack promoter. Here's the... <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? They're getting along. Had a few drinks. Okay, what's she going to do? Pour it in the... Pour it in the... Ice bucket. Mm-hmm. On to you, Kelly. Oh, he's going to get pulled over by the cops. Drunk. You know, they kind of pulled this together pretty good, i got to say. I did not see that coming either. You're a citizen. You have rights. Tell him you want a sobriety test. I want a sobriety <laughs> test. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Well, she dropped him in it. I've got to talk to you. Uh, about what? Susie Lepson. Oh, uh, what about her? Why don't you get in the car and we'll take a little ride? Oh, I, you know, I don't think I've got her. Daddy might worry. What I've got to say to you has to be said in private. I don't like the sound of okay, that. I can't be gone long. This won't take long. I mean, that's a dumb move. You don't tell Bosley where you're headed, who you're headed with. You just jump in the car with somebody you know is like... What? No. They're not going in the middle of frickin' nope. Are you kidding me? No, you do not jump in a car with a stranger and go in the middle of nowhere like that. Come on, Jill, get out of there. Okay. <sighs> Silly, stupid, do not do that again. Not without a gun, anyway. Hang in there, Bree. Don't do it. You got this. You got this. You got this. Turn into it. Turn into it. I'm not... Maybe to be clearer, but why do they need... Why did they need that other girl as the driver that they had to bump off? I didn't get it. Okay, so Mary's taking a break for it. And she's off.
this. Bree coming fast behind her. Well, not fast, but she's doing her best in that old machine. Okay, Mary, where are you headed? What are you doing? Where are you going, girl? Who's that? Oh, that's the whole race. Okay, I get it. Sorry. I forgot. It's all, they're, all, they're all off-road now. Okay. So Bree is pulling up the rear. The boys have obviously found their way inside with their oscillator and are now what? Trying to trying to bust into the uh -huh, into the safe. Alright. Oh, okay. Wah wah. I mean you how'd you why'd you even think you're gonna make that? Give him a karate chop. Yay! The angels won in the air. <laughs> oh, the angels rescued the day. Oh, that makes me happy. Charlie, it was a relief for Jane. Now, I don't really know why they needed Susie, because they managed perfectly fine with just Bloody Mary. Nothing could bring Susie back to them, but at least they know she died trying to do what was right. Yeah. And Bosley, you'll be happy to know we received a substantial bonus from Butech for rescuing their diamonds. That is well, because that down and down and out mechanic wasn't going to be given it many money. Well, I think whatever the cost, Sabrina put forth a championship effort. Do you have the package, Bosley? A trophy? What for? A small remembrance for me to you to commemorate the official end of your racing career. To Sabrina, the hottest number on wheels. Love, Charlie. Love, Charlie. I think he's got favorites. All right, look, what did you think? Let me know in the comments, I wanna know. Uh, for me, I loved it. I thought it was a really fun episode. Lots of action, lots of adventure, lots of great chemistry between the girls. They all had different roles to play in solving the crime, which they usually do, but I really like the dynamic and the different uh, ways they kind of engineered the, the clues. What I didn't like, um, not really sure why poor old Susie needed to be involved because Hey, they managed fine with Bloody Mary all by, them, by herself. And also, um, they kind of solved it real quick. Uh, that always happens, I guess. But this one seemed to be like, okay, 45 minutes, we don't know what's going on. Then five minutes, bam, we solved it. And now they're on the run, trying to catch up with Bloody Mary and the Diamond Heist. So, oh, hey, listen, um, so this is, this is some custom artwork I designed. It has all your six angels. So if you don't want to decide who your favorite is, you don't need to anymore because you can grab them all on a t-shirt, on a mug, on a mask. Uh, what else have I put it up for? On a print. Check out my Redbubble store. Link is down here. Uh, let me know what you think of this episode. I'm going to be on to episode two very shortly. And um, I really liked watching this. It was great to share it with you. And let's see what episode two brings. And make sure to check out my Instagram as well. Link below. Uh, RetroQTV is the handle. I'm going to be posting photos from every episode as well. So you can keep up with all your angel goodness over there too. And we can uh, keep the conversation going. So yeah, let's talk. Till next time. Bye, Angels.